Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. My name is Tom, and this is episode number 91, part three in the mini series to automating 20 small carrier rockets every second. And take a look at the beautiful Dyson Sphere. It is under construction, and soon it will be complete. So with that said, let's get started with episode number 91. Welcome to the Elocrab One planet, and we are about to automate some advanced components. So let's take a look at the Dyson Sphere calculator and see what components we need to automate here to get to 20 small carrier rockets a second. And if we take a look at this, um, I think the first thing we need to do here is automate 266 micro crystalline components, and then we'll do 200, and then we'll move up to the titanium glass, and we'll keep going up that list, and we'll be to the small carrier rockets in no time. So. Let's do 266 of these. Uh, so that is a total of 400 micro crystalline components a second. Okay. We already have a build over here. So um, let's take a look at how much this is here. And that is 40. So we have 80 and we need Um, let me take a look. We need... I lost them already. Where are they? Here we are. We need 266. Okay. 266. No problem. So, what I will do is smack down a few arrays of the micro crystalline components. And this is going to put a heavy demand on the high purity silicon. And so we'll start with that and see how much that is going to give me. Okay, that is a total of 200 and we need 280. Right, 280. Yes, um, no, 260. And we have 200. So, yeah, we need to place down a couple more arrays here. So, we'll put another one here. And another one here. Okay. And I'm going to place some assembly machines in here. We're going to be using quite a bit in this episode. Okay, and we are calling in the high purity silicon, some copper ingots, and um, are these proliferated? They are. Good. Good. Just want to make sure. All right, so that is one array done. I am going to place a cut in here, and I'll come back with all of the rays completed here. Welcome back guys and let me show you what I have completed here. So if we take a look at our processors here, we need 200 processors. We need 266 micro crystalline components and we need 76.7 circuit boards. So if I go back here, you can see that I am I am automating 
240 processors and I am automating microcrystallins 280 and then for the circuit boards we are doing oops nope for the circuit boards we are we got 80. Um, I thought we had more than 80 here. Let me take a look at the circuit boards here. We need 76. Okay, yeah, we are fine with the circuit boards. We are fine with the micro crystalline components and the processors. So what I want to do is beef up the production of the high purity silicon. So we are going to head back to the mark hab or to the Merrick star system to our smelting planet and add those silicon back into the factory we want to do a few arrays of those so we'll say mm, oh nope this is mark hab we want we want Merrick here we go and we want to go right here and let's go set up a couple arrays of the high purity silicon so that we can get these transported back to this planet okay we are heading back to merrick i think we should probably set up a couple arrays of the high purity silicon Here we go. I do have the Dyson sphere shell and frame hidden so that I can work with 60 frames a second. Okay, and let's go and add some silicon here. And um, let's see. Yep, we're struggling quite a bit to produce the silicon just because we don't have enough rays. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to do a control V and I'll smack that down right here. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. Looks like we're out of Tesla Towers, so I will call some in from here. And I'll hit a remote demand on that. Okay. There we go, and I want to hide this patch of ores. Looks good. And if we take a look at the, the factorial lab, you can see that we need a total of 920 high purity silicon. And we have a total, I don't know how much array or how much this is producing for me. This is probably producing, what, four belts? I could put a traffic monitor on here. Um, I could do that. Ooh, we're out of... Okay, yeah, silicon ore is taking a bit of time to get here. That's definitely an issue. How about this array? Yeah, same problem as well. Okay.
All right, just waiting on the Tesla Towers to get here. We got a full stack here. What if I, yeah, we'll just leave it at 100%. Okay, there we go. And um, I want to smack down another array of these. I'll hit control V and I will place this right here. Okay. And I can carry this proliferator MK3 up into that splitter. Excellent. And let's trim this belt back. Okay, excellent. Good, and... Um, Let's take a look at the stats panel and see how many see how many we're producing for the high purity silicon and our production looks pretty good. Uh, we're at 7196 and consumption 6637. That's what I like to see. Okay. All right, and um, that is looking good. I'm pretty happy with this. Pretty happy with this. And the, the smelting planet is growing ever larger, very slowly, but it is growing. Sweet. All right, and um, let's take a look at what we need next here. So we got, oof, we might need some glass. I think we should do some glass. Yeah, I'm thinking some glass, guys. I don't think I have glass automating here. Yeah, we're going to have to do glass. <laughs> I thought for sure I was done with glass. But that is not the case. That is not the case. So I am going to find a place for the glass. And boy, we are running out of space. <laughs> Um, I guess we can go here with the glass. Yeah, I think so. And I'm just looking for the center point here, and I think uh, that's a good start. Okay, and we need to call in some stone, and I bet we don't have any stone in the system. Yeah, we don't have any stone in the system. What do we have here on planet? Um, we got 12 million. So if I go and tap some stone, like something like this, that will help me get uh, the glass jump started here. So we'll do something like this. And I'm going to give this some power. All right, there is some stone. We should probably tap another, another stone patch. And how about this guy? Okay, we'll tap this guy and let's extend the power. All 
All right, and you know, I'm kind of picky with this. If I do something, what if I did something like this? Like that. And then I can save on the Tesla Towers. Like that. Actually, even better, we can align it to the grid. Like this. All right, so there we go. We have tapped two stone patches and that should get us started with the glass here. So let's bring this up here and we need a total of 340 glass. That's 340 glass every second. So if I go and duplicate this and I want this to be glass and that is every, that's per second on the glass. So I will say 340. All right. And let's reduce this to belts and I will say two belts. That's four belts of the stone. And that's a total of 60. So I think that will be fine. I think that will be fine. Yeah, I I'm happy with that. Okay. So we're going to head here and this is going to be the glass. Okay. All right, and then we need four belts of the stone. I am going to place the spray coater down here. And then the arc smelters as a reference point. And I will come out with the glass or with the stone here. Okay, like this, and out with the stone, like that, and I will do the same on this side. Actually, that needs to be one tile in like this okay there we go and so i'll come out with the stone and we will combine that stone into two belts okay there it is and this is going to be glass with a production speed up and copy and paste that over like that All right, and then we need to proliferate. We need to proliferate this, so I gotta adjust those spray coaters over a bit. Like this. Okay, and then I can copy this so that I can get the MK3 over here. Excellent, and um, in it goes, and in it goes, and I will establish some power right here. Actually, probably, yeah, I think, I think right here should be good. Okay. And then we need to set the sorters. So I am in with the stone. Okay, this is a little too close. And I'm going to extend this belt here. Oh, not this again. There we go. 
Okay, perfect. And I will do something like this. Like that. And then we can come out with the glass. Okay. Looks good to me, guys. And let's trim those belts. And how many do we need? We need 60. Right? 60? Yes. So 30 on each side. So I will do this. Press tab. Okay. Oh, we got... <laughs> We got some of these patches here, so I'm going to collapse that. And what I can do is call in that stone. And I can place some space warpers here. Like that. Okay. And so I will try this again like this. This is stone. This is glass. And we're out of sorters again. That tells me that I don't have enough space in the eye less to well there's not enough sorters in stored in the ILS so yeah we're gonna have to well uh, actually no we do my bad so okay let's take a look at how many um, arc smelters we have here uh, wow that's a total of 60 guys that was lucky Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, great. Let's place down our Tesla towers. Okay. Perfect. Oh, crap. This is in the way. Okay, well, this is going to have to go. Because that is in the way. So in the meantime, we'll find hopefully another patch that's not going to be in our way. Okay, this one's kind of further, further away from the factory, so... I will do one here. And I will come over here with the wireless power tower. And like that. Okay. And so we have more stone there to grab from. And do we have our sorters? Yes, we do. So we'll finish up this build with the sorters. Excellent. Okay. And this is all cleared out, so I'm going to delete this. As sad as that is, guys, it has to be done. And I will bury those. And I will trim the belts back. Mm -hmm. And so we need a total of 340, my goodness. Okay, well, I will place a cut in here and I'll smack down all of the arc smelters and then I'll be right back. Welcome back and let's take a look at what we have for glass. If you remember, guys, we need a total of 340 glass. I quite did not get to that point um, because of where I built 
all of the rays. So if I do something like this, we're sitting at 284, so pretty close. Um, I could have done a bigger build for the glass in each array, um, but I didn't. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'm pretty happy with that. And if we need to expand more glass in the future, we can definitely do that. All right. So everything is set up for the glass. I am going to, I'm going to head over to Markab and take a look at our silicon ore over there. And I want to make sure that I have enough ILS collecting all of the ores and transporting them here to Merrick 2. So let's head over there. Let's see what's going on. Hopefully it's not a big issue. All right, we are quickly approaching a Markab 1. And let's see what's going on at Mark Cab One. All right, here is Mark Cab One. And I will hide the vein distribution and let's take a look. Yeah, we got a lot of silicon ore here, but I think we should place more because each ILS, we have all these products and they're being distributed across different star systems. So not all 10 carrier rockets are going to deliver the silicon ore. So yeah, we need to dedicate a few more ILSs. Ooh, we got a power issue here. Um, we need to dedicate a couple more ILSs. Yes. Okay, let's um let's take a look at the power really quickly. Alright, we need to expand this here. So that's what I'm gonna do really quickly. Okay. That looks pretty good. Let's see how much power that gives me. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. We need to... Okay, now it's... All right, so we're at 100%, but that is not going to last long. So I am going to extend this around to the other direction here like this and I will go one here and one here like that okay and I can extend it Okay, that looks uh, pretty good. How's power doing? All right, we have stabilized. Since we're here, let's take a look at the production of our fuel rods. And all right, we are barely producing enough hydrogen as is. So we will have to work on doing a bigger build of the hydrogen and fuel rods eventually, but not now we're fine. So what I'm going to do is, man, I place these ILSs too close to each other. So I will place one actually 
Yeah, I'm going to place one here. And this is also going to call in the silicon ore. And I want to do a local demand on that. And let's add the drones, the logistic vessels, and the space warpers. Okay, perfect. And we need to get power to this. Okay, and so they are going to pick up all of the silicon ore. I just bumped up the max charging power to 300 megawatts just so that we can get this into the system a bit quicker here. Okay, that looks good. And then I will set this back down to 60 megawatts and place this one to 60 megawatts as well. Excellent. And so now we can ship those out if we need to. Huh, that's interesting. They're not distributing them. Well, that's probably because um, the um, high-purity silicon arrays are probably full of silicon. Hmm. Okay, maybe... Maybe they're coming from Merrick too. Let's take a look. Well, at least we have it in the system. Yeah, a thousand's being picked up. So that is good news. All right, so I'm satisfied with that. And so what else can we do here? Well, we have the glass done. We have the circuit boards, the graphene. We are good with the refined oil. We're good with the ingots, titanium, high purity silicon. Yes, all good with this. We're good with the titanium alloy. Water, we are doing fine. We probably need to get the water into the ILS to be transported. And then I think, yeah, I think uh, we're looking pretty good. We're going to automate titanium glass, titanium crystal, casimir crystals, plane filters, um, these quantum chips, a bunch of deuteron fuel rods. It is pronounced deuteron, not deuterion, deuteron. So that was my mistake. And yeah, so we are making good progress, guys, to automating 20 small carrier rockets a second. We're going to get there pretty quickly. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Well, guys, thank you for joining me in episode number 91. We did quite a bit of work in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in episode number 92 where we continue our path forward to automating 20 small carrier rockets a second. You guys have a wonderful day there and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care and goodbye.